all kinds of toys to play with. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna go down the slide? Come down the slide. That'd be fun. He oh, he slid down. <laughs> it looked like he was going down the hole from what angle I was at. Oh, you're too busy filming. He just went. Swoop. Well, I saw him slide, but I had a pole in the way. It looked like he went down a hole. I couldn't tell what he was doing. <laughs> Now, what we use here for training here at the Kansas City Zoo is what's called positive reinforcement training. What? And you'll notice with that paintbrush, you can see how he's actually using his his, uh, his feet to paint with that paintbrush. So he has specialized feet. They're called zygodactyl toes. What? Woohoo! We'll come back this way. He's having a good time. Yep. Lots of fun. Where'd he go? He's back here. Time out. Here you're doing all these loops. As soon as I start rolling, he's gone. It's Humboldt feeding time. Oh, you can tell there's a little baby. Is he's fuzzy head? Where's his fuzzy head? Oh, okay. There he is. I start looking with my eyes. I can't see where I'm getting with the, the camera. Hey, yep, lots of down. Hooray! Looks like it's some kind of fish we fade to the stingrays. Yay! All right, so now we're in the uh, Australian aviary. Hello, Mr. Black Swan. Or is that a type of goose? That's a swan, black swan. It's a pretty ducky over here. Oh, there's a little duck. Pan over here, zoomed in, it's kind of rough. Should have brought a regular camera instead of my phone. Uh, we should be also, like, if we were near what type of everything was, it would be kind of helpful. Oh, there's another duck over here. Pull back. Turn, then zoom in. Look at this little brown duck. Little brown duck. Bath time. Mom, remember Ruby? Yeah. Bath time. He's only got one wing that works. Well, they got it. trim one, you know, so they don't... Well, this is supposed to be a free-flying area, though, but they don't want them to escape, I guess. I don't know. But look right over here. Yep. Sorry. Sorry. There we go. Better view. Look at you. Only problem when I zoom in this tight is every little movement is like a giant movement. Yeah. Well, I got video. <laughs> All right, so here's the red pandas. That one's asleep. Just down a bit. And these two have recently had triplets, which are not on display yet. Here's red pandas. Or this going to be a big They got a cam down there for the box. Yeah, the camera is over there. It's for the box. They're hanging out in the trees. Now, isn't November is like red panda month? I think so. Because it gets cooler and about the temperature they're used to. Why are they called pandas? Um, got... Alright, so here's our two Sumatran tigers hanging out in the shade. Now, Suma these would be from India, I believe, Sumatra. Yeah, Sumatra's in, not necessarily India, but Southeast. Yeah, Southeast. Yep. Looks like they're doing something with the enclosure down over yonder, but. Tigers! Right, so here's Kookaburra sitting in a gum tree, I guess. We don't know if it's gum or not, but it's a tree. It's a tree branch. Tell him a joke, see if he laughs at it. Uh, I don't have a joke for you. Uh, oh, this little explosion was made by an Eagle Scout group. That's here's great. your little friend over here. Hello, Kookaburra number two. Sleeping dingoes, not dogs. Do not leave your children unattended around them. They're not domestic for sure. Yeah, they're not domestic. As cute as they are, much as they look like dogs, those are dingoes. I know he looks smaller than the others, that's for sure. Little wallaby. I think the sign said they had more than one wallaby, type of wallaby in there. Could be. Well, there's some of the others over here. 
hopping around. Oh, thanks for coming out and posing for me. There you go. Hop it away. Oh, didn't go as far as I thought he would. There's the tree kangaroo. Ooh, I should pull back before I move, I guess. There we go. Yeah, uh, did they get a second one? I thought they had two of them now. We usually only ever find one, but you see the other one? The only time we ever saw one of them on the ground is when it was almost time for it to feed them. And it wouldn't be wandering near the opening. There's a little enclosure back there, so maybe the other one's in there. They definitely have more trees to find than they have. Yeah. It's a smaller enclosure, I think, than they had before, too. If they get more up, if they're tree fingers, they want to be trees. Yeah. They look sleepy. Just like a finger. Just like we use our forefinger and thumb, uh, this is something that actually makes African elephants unique uh, as opposed to their Asian counterparts. Uh, the Asian elephants only have one finger like projection, so uh, the two fingers really allow them to uh, be very dexterous and pull things and pick things up and even hand them back. So uh, she grips that paintbrush and so Ellie kind of coats it with paint um, and then she kind of decides where she wants to paint. So this is a training as well as an enrichment activity. So it's all um, positive reinforcement. They're not forced to do this if they don't want to. Yeah, we found the second macaw down here. Apparently it might be nesting in the tree. They already had a pair of babies at one point, but I think they gave them away. Yeah, it's been years. They've probably grown and been taken to another zoo. But looks like she's on the nest. Yay! Yes. Okay, so we just fed stingrays. Which was, all right, so describe. Uh, it is, they tell you it's like a vacuum and it really is, it's just like these, you can feel their mouths, just soft little fleshy things come down and you feel this and it just, whoop, right out of your fingers. They're like water suction, all it reverse is. water pressure. And Jeremy so, got two on him, sucking on yeah. him, sucking on him. So I just let it go when I felt one come by, I was like, here, yeah. I'll just, whichever one of you gets it, gets yeah. it. And I let me pull out before you think that I got more fish. Yeah. So, so yes, so I was, was, we had to be careful. There are sharks in there. They said during feeding time, do not touch the sharks. Well, obviously, I mean, because sharks don't know the difference between your fingers and the fish. Yes. And stingrays' little teeth are a little small, and they don't bite. They yeah, just. They're, 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 that was awesome. That's the coolest so thing we've done in a long time. It is. That was so amazing. All right. So Lynn's two-toed sloth, our newest addition to the zoo, and a head in my shot. There we go. So I'm pretty sure that smaller one is the four-year-old. Yeah. So this is only, I think, the second time we've seen them get out of that water. Yeah. Well, we stuck here just long enough. I, I'm thinking that's a pelican, but I ain't not but sure I'm right. Is that yeah, that's a gull, not a pelican. Well, I don't know why I was thinking pelican. I was thinking seagull and thinking pelican at the same time. I had the goal to say the wrong thing. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh boy. Hi there, buddy. Hello. Now when you're done, I'll take that Yum yum yum. That good stuff. Oh, yes, sorry. She startled you a little bit there, didn't she? This is my new friend. What? Well, I'm trying to feed this guy here. Picking through your hair. And how's my little friends doing here? I got two of them on my arm now. Are you sharing? Oh, no, he's going to go away. I got a new one. Is that good? I bet, <coughs> I bet that's sugary. Ooh, I'm sorry. Oh, that almost got me. Wow. 
Ah, I nearly got myself pooped on. Oh. So we found a little green band, so we're gonna come to her. Yeah. I think they said the red band was the special little bird that didn't like to fly. We'll make sure she gets some. There you go. You get all the goodie at the bottom. Yep, get all the good stuff. And when you're done with that one, I still have a little bit too. Mmm, yum, all the little grits. There's probably all kinds of little seed things yeah. or something. Yeah, it's like pollen, little flowery things. Yeah. You want some more? Here you go. Oh, you yum, 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 yum. Hey, I had a lot in there. Yeah, you did. You got it all over your beak. You're such a messy eater. Oh, for all that, I thought one landed on your back. There's some more. Oh, yep, a little on the side. There you go. Get on in there. Yum, yum. Yum, nums. Oh, <laughs> I got one on my head. Yep. Oh, he's looking for your hair. Of course he is. It's on my yeah, head. This, the one well, yeah, we found a green band down here. Yeah. Well, he did anyway. Is that, uh, did you get it all? Is it all? Is it done? Yeah, I think mine's pretty well cleaned out. Yep. He was going through your hair and like flicking off. Oh, bye bye.